utilizing polyzone so my idea for today's script is basically a like welcome home message once you enter the your server's housing apartment or whatever it is once you enter the house you'll get a notification saying welcome home and if the player is low lower than the maximum health set for the player it will restore the player's health to maximum health so that being said let's create our resource folder so inside of the qb folder i'm just going to be making a new folder i'm calling it qb dash house zone you can call this whatever you want i'm just going to open this with vs code so now that we're in here we're going to create a new file we're going to name us fx manifest dot lower in here we want to put fx underscore version quotes cerulean game quotes gta5 and we want to do client underscore scripts in here we want to put quotes uh, I think it's at soon client that lower at zone Next, we're gonna put our client folder which we haven't made yet, but name this client slash client dot lua. So now that we have this, you can go ahead and make a new folder. We're gonna call this client. Inside the client, we're gonna make a new file called client dot lua. Okay, so now that we have all of this set up. If you do not have polyzone i'll leave a link in the description where you could find this and download this so yeah with that out of the way let's get into our server so now that we've successfully loaded into our server we could go ahead and make the zone so to create this zone we're gonna do slash pz create and we need a box zone so we're gonna put box this could be whatever you want here i'm just gonna put apt house length i just put one and width of one and when the zone actually creates then I go about shaping the actual size that I want this one to be. So the controls for this are pretty simple. Scroll wheel up or down is to rotate. Alt key and scroll wheel up or down controls the width of the zone. And shift and scroll wheel up or down controls the length of the zone. So any of these combined with control will give you more control over the sizing of the zone so you can see that it's moving a lot more slower there now and if i let go of control if i let go of control sorry you'll see the zone expands more faster so control just the control key just allows you to have more control over the positioning or the sizing of the zone so if you use control with arrow keys you can see that the zone moves a lot more slower there to decrease the height of the zone you want to press z on the keyboard and scroll down or scroll up so we're going to just put this at the door frame there and we're going to decrease the height of this a bit we're going to rotate we're going to expand out shape it in shift and scroll wheel move that in some more okay this looks fine so to confirm the zone we're gonna just put slash pc finish and you will see it, that it gives us a little text message on the top left saying that it created a file named polyzone created zones dot text so to find this file, usually the default location for this file is like in the QB base folder. You can see that it's right here, where your server.cfg will be. So you're just going to open this up. So now that we have this information here, we can go ahead and write some code. So first things first, what you need is the 
Cubico export. So I'm just going to grab that. Paste that there. So now that we have this, so the zone is something that we want constantly there, no matter what. So we're going to put this inside of a thread. So we're going to do create thread function. Just going to do local zone equals null. So now to create the zone in here, we're going to put zone equals we're going to copy this information here box zone colon create all of that we're going to just copy that and paste that there now to have the zone detect if the player is inside we're going to use something called on player and out point inside we're going to do zone colon on player i think it's in out like that and function inside of here we're gonna put this point inside what we're gonna do if is point inside then end. so this currently how it is yeah it will detect if the player is in the zone but it will do nothing because we have not created an event or have anything going on in here so for this we're going to create another function we're going to say function player entered house so we're going to do local player equals to player that id now to get the player's house we're going to do local player health equals to get entity health player uh, now we're gonna get like the default max uh health that the player is supposed to have so we're gonna do local player max health equals to get entity max max help so from here we're gonna do if player help less than player max help max help and not is entity head player then head so what this is saying here once the player so if we copy this function and paste it in here once the player enters this zone here that you created it will get the player it will find the player at first it will then detect the player's current health it will get the player's max health and then from here it will say if the player's health is lower than the maximum default health and not the player and the player is not dead then we could do other stuff in here so to give back the player some health we're gonna put use the native set entity out like it's well hold on we're gonna put player from um brackets i mean and we're gonna put this to player max out now to have the notification welcome home we're gonna put qb4 dot function dot Notify brackets welcome home okay so now with all of this here if we go ahead and restart the resource we're gonna do ensure uv dash home zone and we have an error line 5 
So we restart that. What the hell? Oh, I just cannot spell. So hopefully we have no other spelling errors. I restart the script. And now if we enter here, you can see that it says welcome home. Now to see if we actually get health back, we could just lose some health. That should be good enough. So now if we go back into the zone, our health should be restored and we should see welcome home. There. Hey guys, so just like that, we created our first resource utilizing the polyzone. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and like, subscribe and share for more.